Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back once again with the Ortur Laser Master Pro 2. Friends, today we're going to engrave some wood. So let's get cracking. All right, everybody, two things first. There is a sale on the Laser Master Pro 2. If you check the link in the description, it is currently $429 instead of the more than $550 that I paid on Amazon. I got mine super fast, but this is a much better savings. Secondly, everybody, yesterday the University of Michigan smacked down Ohio State in football. It was pretty awesome. So now, friends, I'm going to commemorate that on this piece of wood. All right, so as you can see, I am in light burn, and I still need to pay for it. I've got eight days left. I'm going to hang tight. Maybe there will be a Black Friday deal coming up as well. When I hit OK, I need to find the part that I'm going to play with. So I'm going to once again go to Import. And then I create a design called U of M1 and U of M2. So I'm going to bring it in. That one looks like a cool football shape. That's reasonable. Uh, I'm going to bring in the second one and see if I like it better now that I'm thinking about it. And this one is U of M2. So this one is a much more crisp design. I'm going to use this one, though, because I think it's going to look sweet when I engrave it. So I'm going to hit delete. And I know that my little block of wood over there is about 8 centimeters around. So I'm going to hold down Alt, and that way it scales all at the same amount. And I'm going to get it down to a size that I think it'll fit. Now, one of the nice things about Lightburn is I can build anywhere in the work area. I'm going to set mine here in the middle, and then when I connect the laser, I'm going to just use I'm going to use the job origin from current position and the bottom left corner by setting these. All right, friends. So first, I'm going to raise this up because I know just how much taller that piece of material is. And now let's home it over with the move. Once again, if you hold down shift, it'll go twice as far. Notice mine's not moving again. That's because it's on COM6 instead of COM3. As soon as I do that, you'll hear it start squawking. And now let's move it over where it's supposed to be. All right. So I'm doing shift move. So it goes 10 times the normal 10 millimeter move that I have it set at. That's pretty nifty. We have shipped with us this tiny little piece that is a good estimate for the perfect spacer for our laser. So I'm going to use that, pull it out. Uh, notice they said then you can adjust this. I was able to do that real quickly with it on there. And then friends, now I'm going to move to the bottom left corner of my design. Now don't forget I'm thinking for the middle of where the beam is. And then from this location, I want to hit frame, and I'm going to do the circle frame to see if it fits. So see how it went a little bit to the right? So I'm going to go one left, one down. And now I'm going to hit frame again, and let's see what it does. I think that's centered pretty cool. I'm going to go back now, and let's set our cuts and layers. All right, friends, so we're going to click on this. And I want to switch it to number 12, which is going to be a fill plus line. Uh, you'll notice I'm way out here plat past 10. That's because I want to keep my settings in my head for the first 10 for my laser cutter at school. I'm going to tell it I want this to be 1,000. I want it to be max power of 60. And I'm going to tell it a min power of 40. I'm going to do two passes, and I want 0.1 for the interval. I'm going to add the score from the game yesterday because that was another part that made my day. Once again, I'm going to just put text there, and we're going to put 42 to 27. Let's move that into place. It is already set as the same, which is awesome. And then I'm going to add the date on the bottom as well. Now this time I'm going to do Control D, which means it's a duplicate. And then down here I can just double click. And then I'll click on this text and click this number, and let's delete those. Input 11 slash 27 slash 21. And then with the control key, I'm going to make that a little bit smaller in every direction. I think that looks like a pretty fantastic project. And friends, let's engrave something awesome.
Alrighty friends, so let's see just what we've made here. As you can tell, I did not quite center it up and down, but it does fit perfectly on the width of my shape of wood. If I would have had a real circle instead of this oval piece, I probably could have stuck the landing on that. So I'm loving how this turned out, but I am going to tell you these numbers were a guess. Uh, probably could have got by with just one pass instead of two passes. Did take me almost an hour and 27 minutes, but friends, I think that's a pretty decent commemoration of a pretty awesome day. One last quick reminder, if you have not snagged your LaserMaster Pro 2, there is a link in the description right now. You can get it for $429 instead of the more than $500 I spent when I snagged mine on Amazon. Remember, I will keep sharing my settings so we can find the perfect settings for all of our projects. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.